Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to introduce you to the CK Editor in Webster Commerce. But before we begin, we have to enable the CK Editor in the Management Center. And you can see here that I am in a piece of content on the site and it just has HTML because I'm looking at the source. But it's the old rich text editor. So the first thing you have to do is actually enable the CK editor. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to preferences and we're going to click use CK editor option in the preferences. And it says you might encounter limitations, etc. Yes, we know. And now what you'll get is a little icon here to edit the text. And you can see the CK editor, it looks, you know, it's branded with uh, the, the IBM theme and it has all the different options that you would expect in a rich text editor. So now we can pretty much do anything inside of here that the CK editor supports. And what I've done is I've gone to the extent of actually extending the CK editor so I can put a Google Maps on my um, corporate page in the About Us. So if I come in here, I'm going to copy this address and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click the Google Maps icon, insert a Google Map. And you can see we get a nice little dialog. Looks like a regular CK Editor dialog. And we'll get to more on that in a minute. And I'll say 300, 300. And there we go. So now on our information page, we can have a Google Maps to our location. Actually, I don't know if uh, what, what address is at 855th Ave, so certainly don't go there since I just made it up. But if I go ahead and uh, click OK, and I save this, and I go into the site preview, and if we scroll down, to the Contact Us page, we'll see the piece of content that I just edited. And there it is. So now they can go ahead and click on that and, and, uh, and, and find out you know, how to get there. So how did I do that? Well, I'm going to warn you, this is not, um, you know, it's not supported per se because there is no extensibility model to prevent issues during upgrades of Webster or Commerce, but at the end of the day, it's just the CK editor. So, for instance, you'll have a plugins directory, you'll have your regular config.js, and then you'll have um, a JSP file that you need to edit. So, if we look at the CK editor uh, config.js, what I did is I just simply put in the Wang Z map, which is a plugin out on the CK editor site. You can go ahead and look at it, it's a free Google Maps plugin. And um, and I went ahead and edited it, and I, I made toolbars equals tools, and that's pretty much it. And then over in the ckeditor.jsp, I just simply added it to the JavaScript code to add it to the toolbar. Now, I did make one change in the plugin where I actually put the protocol for Google Maps. Uh, just because of some of the iframe issues that we ha that I have in my my current environment, I had to put the protocol in order for it to load. Uh, but outside of that, it should just work fairly clean. If you're using some older style CSS in Web Store Commerce, you might want to check out Legacy.css and unhide uh, iframes. But that's pretty much it, and that's all I did. And I get now nice little Google Maps in my content spots for Webster Commerce. So thank you for watching.